a little longer, and you'll see with this teach pen, and it's kind of neat. We'll get more into it. But um, I don't have it plugged in. Right now, but. This one, it has these little yellow buttons on the back that you have to depress when you're running it. So it has this little holder. You can adjust it for your hand if you're going to be doing this all day long. But the deal is you'll see, you only need to click one. You click it in once, you click it in twice, that means you're really gripping it like the thing's coming at you, it's going to hit you. And that'll shut it off. And then if you let go of the thing, it shuts the thing down. So it's got this safety feature that you have to depress it, just one click, one detente, whatever you want to call it. And <coughs> it'll run. You click, you know, like you're gripping it like you're scared, it shuts it off, and then if you just let go of it, it shuts it off. Which is good, safety. It also has this emergency stop, which has this dynamic brake, which actually locks it. That kind of wears out the motors. You only hit this if you have to. Now, as fast as we're going, and in this little clear box, you, you'll be fine. Right? It's got a thing where it goes past this limit and softens and we put inside of it. It's going to shut itself off. Right? And this flex, it's not real glass, it's flexing, which is what, 30 times stronger than acrylic, and acrylic's what? Times more flexible or something. Whatever it is, you guys know you got that testament. All right, so <laughs> anyhow, in your plastic. So it, it'll take a good hit. All right. Uh, and, and you'll be all right with this thing, uh, which is nice. Uh, but you have to have this, before I forget, you got to make sure the heat dependence on. Because you have to like reset, you have to turn it on and on. And this. But only hit this if you, if it really, if this was taken off or something and you knew you were going to get They'd rather you break a motor than they have to write you up on an OSHA safety report and you get hurt and injured and all that. And we're not going to have that issue. But, you know, if it is, you don't know how to do it. What I'm saying is, you don't think so. You know, you can just let go of the thing and it'll shut down. And it just takes a few seconds. It's not going anywhere. It's enclosed in this cage. Now, if we have this or we bolt it down over here where it's in the open, yeah, yeah, we're definitely going to need that. It's, it's pretty darn safe. But again, it's there, it's also here on the control. Let's say somebody's worked on this thing all of a sudden reaches out, it's gonna hit you or something, you can hit it there too. And it's kind of neat. And then when you're actually doing it, you have to hit the shift key. So the deal is they try to make it work like some kid off the street and some little kid couldn't just pick this up and run the thing and hurt themselves. So you really have to kind of know what you're doing to get this whole thing to even just turn it on and get it to run. Which to me makes sense, because you don't want just some person just playing with it until they figure out they can start it because, you know, ours is this little one. This is about, I guess they get a little smaller than this. But most of them are big and pick up cars and throw them. All right, so you don't want some little, you know, third grader picking this up and swinging that around the plant and hitting somebody. So again, you'd have to click this, you'd have to hit the shift key, and then you can move the cord. So it's better to learn it on the teach pen than to try to do it the software because the software you can just click shift and it stays pushed in. So I was doing it with the software when I went to the train. And I thought I knew what I was doing, but then actually when you have your teach pen and have to do all these things with this, it's kind of like playing the organ or something. Now you're doing three things with the organ. Uh, it's a little more difficult. So anyway. And then you can load programs and download. This one has a jump drive. This has got, they call the iPen. This is their latest version of it. It actually comes in color and all that. We'll get it through before I plug it in when we actually run the thing out. But it's kind of neat. 